Hey, this is Jeff with Miller's RV here to demo our new trade-in, a 2016 38R Winnebago Soleil. Before we get started, please do me a favor. If you will like and subscribe to this channel, you'll be notified of all the new units we get and all the question and answer videos we come out with and stuff like that. Also, your like and your comments really help us know what kind of videos to put out. So please let us know you want to hear. Now, before we go in and look at this awesome floor plan, this might be the reason you want to buy it. Look at this key. Is that the coolest thing you've ever seen? Okay, maybe not. But for an RV, that's pretty unique. Let's take a look. So we're inside the 38R Soleil here. A couple things about the uh, coach on the outside before we get started on the end. Um, where we're parked for now can't get great view outside, so we're gonna do most of the video inside, but a couple features just to point out to you. One of the things I really love, this has a very large full wall slide on the passenger side, so the awning side of the coach, but they've mounted the awning actually to the slide out. So you don't lose your 20 inches of the slide uh, depth with your awning, your awning actually comes off that. And because it's not coming out over a slide out, the angle of it comes down better, which really helps with the shade. Also has outside TV. Uh, this is an ISB Cummins diesel with a six speed house transmission, air brakes, uh, uh, engine brake, all that kind of fun stuff. So standard chassis for a Freightliner, uh, adjustable pedal and all that kind of fun stuff. Uh, great coach. Um, electric slide for the step wheel cover here. But one thing they do different than most people don't is this passenger chair. It has a table that flips out, almost kind of like in a um, first class seating in an airline. So you have this little table sits out, kind of give you the ability to have some lighting because in a, in a class A gas, sometimes you'll have a little table that pulls out, but I've never really seen this in other diesels where they give this great little table. So really like that, it's good to place. There's cup holders on the side, but it's a good place to just do work while you're going down the road. Really, really nice coach, big storage up here in the front. Um, and let's take a look at the rest of the floor plan. Okay, so some things that you're going to see on most of the products in this year range. You do have a residential refrigerator with the ice maker. Uh, some really nice pantry space with slide out drawers that are full depth. Allows you to give a nice access to this long thin cabinet. More storage up here. Um, three burner uh, gas stove. Residential convection microwave. So a real nice feature. Of course your pull out sprayer and your big sink. Uh, big TV and fireplace across from the living area. So pretty typical setup for a living space. Um, great cabinets and lots of storage in this. So that's pretty much normal. Not a lot of difference in there. So one thing that is different about Winnebago than most of the other manufacturers you're going to find this price point is this dinette. Now it looks pretty similar to any other dinette, but here's a couple differences. One, so what you normally get for a sofa is a, a block of, you know, four inch phone if they're being generous, three inches for most of them on a piece of wood. And when you go to sit on it, I mean, you can see my hand goes through. Now this is the backrest, not the, the cushion seat, but they're not all that comfortable to sit on, especially in a motorhome. A lot of times you're doing traveling for a decent amount of time. Well, Winnebago doesn't build this like the rest of the people do. Instead of just a block of foam sitting on a piece of wood, this is a regular cushion like you would have in a sofa. There's springs, uh, so it's a sprung dinette seat, way, way more comfortable to sit on, especially as you're going along the trip. And because it's on a metal frame in the springs, you have great access to all the storage underneath it. So the storage flips up on both sides, makes it really, really convenient, and easy to access the storage and more comfortable when you're going down. And it still looks really nice. You also have the feature on the dinette when you're going to put the dinette down. Pull the seat down here. When you're going to put this down, there is a latch, so it just pushes straight down. Very easy to make the dinette. So at night, when you do need to use this as a sleeping area, and in this particular coach, I don't think you will, but if you do, there's your dinette. That's how long it takes. So really, really comfortable. Uh, while I'm here at the windows, all of the windows do have the day shade and the night shade. So you do have nice, uh, good shade so you can cut the light but still see outside and enjoy it. Let's move on to the sofa and then we'll look at the rest of the couch. So here we are with the sofa and a lot of um, sofas like this are either going to be one of the big, very, very uncomfortable hide beds or they're going to be just a jackknife sofa and not give you much room. What they do here, this is a trifold sofa, so it pulls out the legs. If you notice, instead of the cheap one, you got a manual flip out, automatically come out and then this flips down. So you get a nice size but comfortable bed, easy to make. And then when you're finished with it, very easy to put up. And the legs automatically fold up on that as well. 
brings us to the next part. So this next thing is very nice. You can see when I said earlier, you might not need to make the dinette out. You got bunk beds in this 38R. So theoretically, you could sleep two in the back, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, maybe if you had two small people in the dinette, but easily seven people in this motorhome, which is more than most people want to go camping with. But we had a family of four kids, so this would have been a great unit for us to be able to have everybody, all the kids would have had their own bed, Jenny and I would have ours, it would have been an awesome floor plan. But I love the dinette, is really cool, I mean, excuse me, the bunk beds have an extra feature that I think you're really gonna like, come take a look. Watch this. When you are not using your dinette, your bunk area, you have two options. Um, one, if you need extra closet space, so say you don't really need bunk beds, but you need extra closet space, this slides up and you have a closet rod that hangs down and then you can pull it and have extra closet storage, clothes storage when you're there. So that's one option. The other option is, as you can see, this bottom area makes into a dinette seat. So you end up with, again, when you have a big coach like this, you end up having uh, more people that can sit at your dinette. But with this one, you now have, whoops, gotta turn it this way. With this one, you now have six people in the dinette, to two four front, two back here. So six people can sit. I guess there's one person left out and sit on the couch, but they can actually sit at the front seat and use the little flip out tray there. So you have a place for everybody to sit and eat in this. So great idea, great floor plan. Gives you the double use of the space, which is something I always love because you're such a tight space in a motorhome. So really nice feature on that. And there's two other things I think you'll really like on this floor plan. Let's take a look at the bathrooms. So nice feature here, very, very large half bath. So it gives you the people up front have the option of coming in, having their own private toilet, it is a porcelain toilet, of course, it's level of coach, um, a private sink, lots of room, and of course, just a window up there as well. But you also have here, all of your uh, monitor panel and control systems are all in one location. So instead of where a lot of things, you'll have a switch here and a switch there, you've got everything from the two slide rooms here to the water heater and the engine block heater here, your air conditioning control for the front AC, level controls, uh, power line energy management system. So if you plugged in it, it, go to a campground that only has 30 amp, you can still run the air conditioners without being limited to just running uh, one. You can run them both. And your control energy management system for your Cummins diesel with automatic gen start and your inverter, all of it in one location. So you're not hunting all over the coach figuring out where something is. And a positive latch on the door and a solid, nice big solid door to close off the bedroom and give you what little privacy there is in an RV. Hey, hi there. So private bedroom, really nice feature. And when you look at the amount of closet space, really four big closet doors here. So lots of closet space and full drawers beneath it. Well, if you're thinking like what's missing in most of the motorhomes that are this size, what's missing is a TV. Well, what Winnebago did, they actually mounted the TV right up here over the bed. So the TV flips down, gives you great viewing while you're in the bed, but doesn't waste storage space that you really need, especially if you're bringing seven people camping with you. You need all the closet space you can get. So TV here, nice closet space here, uh, very, very comfortable bed and sleep number uh, bed. And then let's look at the back. Okay, back here in the bedroom. Uh, again, another porcelain toilet. Open this cabinet here and you see washing machine. And many of you might at this point be thinking, oh my gosh, it's just a, it's a combo washer and dryer. I can't deal with a combo washer and dryer, especially if you're traveling like us with four kids. Don't be alarmed. Winnebago has put your dryer over here. So we got washer over here, not a combo, and dryer located right here. So the space back behind the shower is where your dryer is located. So we do have a regular washer and a regular dryer. So fear not, if you got all the kids like I did, you still have the ability to wash plenty of clothes. Uh, nice room around the bathroom sink. Normally there's never room for my toiletries. Jenny gets all the room and I have to leave mine in a drawer or something. Uh, and then a nice big shower here. So it's plenty big, room to sit down. There's a little corner seat in there, something Jenny always likes. Um, they also have access here if you need to, the floor access, but this is a level floor coach. So there's no step up, which is something I really, really love. It's the way Winnebago does their chassis that allows this. So you don't have to worry about having to step up at the rear or when you're not thinking, tripping, either going in or out, not an issue in the Winnebago uh, Soleil. So great feature there as well. Well, this gives you a nice tour of the inside. TJ is going to get some video of the outside. There's good storage outside, nice big slide, love the big awning. The colors are beautiful. I think this is a coach that might work for you, especially if you want to travel with a lot of people. 
Whenever you're ready, give us a call, 225-275-2940. We'll schedule an appointment for you to come in and we'll have it nice and cool down for you. Or if you want to reach out to us on email, sales at Miller's RV will get to us as well. Again, this is Jeff Hilliard at Miller's RV and this Soleil might be what you need to enjoy the journey. Hey, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed it. Please let us know if you have other questions you want to answer. And if you have nothing else to do, watch one of these videos here. Subscribe so you know when more are coming out. Have a great day and enjoy the day.